Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. I am so excited because we are finally, I am finally at the point where I can give to you more of my time. And in this case, this is going to manifest itself in weekly terascopes. So this is something that I set an intention for and to watch this unfold right now is absolutely incredible. And um, I really just want to say thank you so much to those who are watching now and have subscribed to the channel and liked comments liked the videos and posted comments, all of those things are so welcomed. And I'm really excited to see what else I can give to you as we move forward in 2017 and where this is gonna take us. I did pull some cards with from Monday through Sunday of this week. And the first cards starting out on Monday are the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is a really incredible grounding energy that we're walking into. And what I love is that we have such a firm foundation to base the rest of our week ahead with. Now Pentacles is all about earth energy and bringing it from, bringing things uh, like an exciting idea to a realistic, um, perspective and when I say realistic I don't mean being negative or um, or being looking at things from a half a glass half empty way um, but I I mean when I say realistic I mean taking your um, your plans your vision your goals and your ideas and taking it from a thought into an earthy uh, tangible something that you can build upon, a plan, a, 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 a routine, a structure that can create the foundation of what is ahead for the path ahead. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is such an advanced um, card within the suit of Pentacles because this represents the the work that had already that we've already kind of been putting into the energy that of what has already been put into place and if i had to guess it has to be from the energy and of the intention and the work and the focus that you've been putting in with the last the week before and and of all of the the new moons and all of the testing that has been occurring in your own life and how it's kind of developing and unfolding now in your life in the present moment because a lot of us have really been shaking things up and starting brand uh, brand new things myself included the YouTube channel is an example of that and also the steps the the place that I'm in in my business right now and the more time that I'm able to give to you these are doors that have been opening for me um, this is all about with these with these with these cards it's showing that the effort and the time and the energy and the work that we've put in is now at a tangible realistic um, place where it can grow into something bigger and better because you're realistically taking that idea into something that you can build upon for generations to come and Pentacles energy is all about the future it's all about the long term it's all about what you're committed in and what you are dedicated to making building into a huge empire, whether that be a relationship, whether it be a, jobs, uh, a, a job or an opportunity or a circumstance, whatever it is that you're putting your energy and your time and, and your effort into in, in order to watch it grow and to expand into something way bigger than you thought that it could really be. And the pentacles, the nine of pentacles here is all about the reward and reaping the reward. Granted, is it ten of pentacles energy? Do we have all of the pieces falling together and and everything is where ultimately where we want it to be? No, there's still some some progress that needs to be made with the nine of pentacles. Um, with this card, there's there's a lot to be proud of. There's a lot to be grateful for, but there's still a lot that we want to work and we want to to build upon in regards to our vision and that's okay and to start this off at such a realistic awesome um grounded energy to start the, the the rest of the week ahead is awesome the king of pentacles too is someone that we can really count on for sound advice and counsel so this is someone who has the know-how and has been through it and has done like been there done that and can really provide extra guidance and and um, a plan for what it is that you might need to do in order to attract or to build or to grow in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in this week. So um, if this is you, if you are the King of Pentacles right now, I see you being someone who is 
um, focused on long term, who is again looking at things from a realistic perspective, who is um, saving money, building money, building security, building finances, and just a regular old meat and potatoes type of person where it's just very simple and very, um, the other thing that's coming to me too is like like tangible stuff that you can touch, you can feel, and uh, the, the pleasures, the, the physical touch pleasures of things that you can enjoy. So um, for some of you guys, this could be about spending money and investing your time into something, a trip or a, a bag or something that is really, really nice for you that will pay off and serve you for forever, okay? So what a great way to start this the, the week off on such a serious and um, grounded level. The second card is the Ten of Wands. Now, this is Tuesday, the energy of Tuesday. Now, the Ten of Wands is taking on responsibility and commitment and um, carrying on a burden. Now, for 50% of our population here, this is gonna feel really good because you have been working to prove yourself. You have been um, putting things into place in order for you to take it to the next level. So, in some ways, this is that that, that next level of commitment. This is someone saying, you know what? I am committed to this, I want this, and I'm gonna carry this responsibility or this title, and I'm gonna take it to the finish line. So some are entering into partnerships. Some people are taking on new responsibilities and commitments with your work and your business. I myself have committed to you know creating more videos on the YouTube channel. So this is Tuesday is about that energy of shouldering the burden or shouldering a responsibility, having what it takes, and then continuing to to, to move it forward. The thing with the, the Ten of Wands card is is that um, it is a heavy burden to carry, so this is a temporary situation. So this is a temporary thing. So you can't carry a weight forever. It's just getting it and getting it started and making it, putting it in a place where the pieces are falling together or moving it to a place where the pieces can fall together so things become more effortlessly, um, f like effortlessly flowing moving forward into the future, okay? So the other 50% of, of people who are seeing this card, they're gonna feel, okay, I already have enough on my plate. I already have a lot that I'm taking on, like a lot of a burden that I've already started to carry. Um, and this might be too much. The good news with this on Tuesday, if someone is coming to you and saying, putting a pile of paper on your desk, or if um, something, oh my gosh, my cat. <laughs> Um, if something is being asked of you and you already have a lot going on, uh, the good news is is that this is a temporary situation. It's not going to last that long. Um, and the, the payoff could really be great, but ultimately I'm going to leave it to you to make the, 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 the big decision of what it is. Can you, can you carry all that you're carrying right now? Um, the burden that or the task that's being asked of you is it something that you want to carry or is it a little bit too much? But in the end of the day, I see it being something positively benefiting. Moochie, come on. Cats. Okay, so that's Tuesday's energy. Wednesday is a little bit of what concerns me because the King of Pentacles is here as long as, as well as the Five of Cups. Now, King of Swords, when he's upright, he represents a person who is analytical, who is logical, who thinks more from his head than his heart, which is good because it serves its purpose when you need good, sound, logical, um, weighing the pros and cons, a good, like, fact-based decision. However, when the King of Swords is reversed, he can become a bit of an asshole, <laughs> to be to put it mildly. Why is that? Well, the swords represents mental, it represents um, verbal, it represents communication, and it also, you have to look at the swords as a weapon, or a weapon that you can use to defend yourself or other people, Muchi, or a weapon that you can use to hurt yourself or other people. So when the King of Swords is reversed, the worst aspects of him are kind of highlighted. So this is someone who is not, like when his when he's good, he's good because you can, you'll know that you can get an honest answer with him. But when the King of Swords is reversed, it's the negative aspect of that. So that's someone who says hurtful things and they're not thinking about it. They're just saying it because they feel like they can and they're not in a place of balance. Swords is also moochy. Swords is also a card of, 
Swords is also a card of balance and balancing the scales. And when the King of Swords is reversed, the scales are off. Moochie, come on. Come on. The two of, uh, the five of cups here is a, another um, interesting, another interesting card that's connected to the five of swords because symbolism and the color of each card deck is really, really important. And in this case, the, the, the person is wearing a black coat cloak and the color black is a, a lower vibration, like a lower, a lower vibration uh, color, not to say that that's a negative thing because I wear black all the time. The fact that I'm wearing white today is a miracle in itself, but um, it's it, it de it's a dense color, it's a lower vibration, so it slows things down. And in this, in this place, in this case, this card, let me just see what's going on with the cat. In this case, this card represents, come on, come on, let me get your toy. Oh my God, you guys, cat ownership, golden. In this case, sorry about that. In this case, the Five of Swords, um, the Five of Cups can represent depression, sadness, um, feeling withdrawn, feeling isolated, feeling disappointed, disillusioned. And the fact that it's so closely connected to the King of Swords, I really want us to watch the effect and the influence of what people say to us. Now, although the King of Swords is showing up as a man, um, I want to say that Half of the time it can represent a masculine person, half of the time it can represent a, a male, but it, just because the King of Swords is showing up as a king, it doesn't mean that it has to represent a man. I've seen King of Swords energy represent the energy of a woman who was coming across pretty masculine and is thinking, again, analyzing things more from her head, from her heart. That's just how the tarot works. So don't. I don't want you to put your finger and say, okay, um, I, someone did say something that was really cold and hurtful to me, Jess, but it wasn't a dude. It was this really, um, was this really like assholey woman. You know what? Assholes, assholes come in all types of, all types of shapes and sizes. What? No, but for real. So don't, don't look for a dude. Don't look for negativity at all. But if it presents itself and this is the energy that, um, it can manifest in. So the other thing that I want to say is if this is you, if you're King of Swords energy right now, really, I want to encourage you to go and do something to get your energy out. Because sometimes this can represent your energy. Sometimes you can just be like not in a good mood, not in a good space, not in a good place. And the things that you're saying, you're just hurting the people that you love for no reason and it's not necessary. So go out um do some go do something physical like go play racquetball, go kayaking, go canoeing, whatever it is in order to take you out of your mind because that's the thing that the king of swords is always thinking, always analyzing stuff. And in this case there is an imbalance. So the what is his strength is probably too much of that. So go out and and be physical, go running, go exercise, watch your mouth because you're really going to end up hurting people. The other thing that I think you have the potential to hurt other people with the things that you say and also yourself. So the, the other thing that I want to say to you, the, the other message, and you guys know that each tarot card has its own symbolic message, but no card is an island, and I always go with my intuition and my vibes. My feeling that I get with this, too, is just this energy of, you know what, bless your heart. Bless your heart for seeing the best in this person. Like, good for you, and I see what it is that you're doing here with trying to look on the bright side of the situation, but also choose not to surround yourself or not to engage in people who do not have anything positive to bring to your life right now. I see a lot of you guys saying like, you know what, I see the best in this person or he's doing the best he can or she's doing the best she can. But, and I get that and I understand that you're encouraging that of that and you're supporting it, but you have to sometimes choose yourself and distance yourself away from negativity because that can have an impact on you. And someone on Wednesday is going to be a little emotionally um, caught up and a little hurt by this by the energy of the King of Swords. And I just, it, it's better to be warned than to look than to look at it and just be like, why did you say that? You know what I mean? You could just, when you see it, instead of feeling like shit, instead of feeling bad, instead of taking it personally, you could say, all right, that's what Jess was talking about in her tarot scope. So the other thing that I'm seeing, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday is the Page of Wands. Now, Page of Wands is all about being excited, starting a new adventure, 
um, taking a risk, putting yourself out there. This is the person that's like the intern at the new corporation that's like, pick me, pick me. I will do whatever it takes. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna get signatures. I am a passionate advocate for youth advocacy. I'm gonna build funds. This is that energy right here. And if you look at the color of this card, it's gold, it's red, it's passion. You've got like something building up here, the mountains building up. So energy is building outside of the fact that this card is full of excitement. It could also be a really highly sexual card too. And the pages of wands represent messengers, messages coming in, messages coming out and excitement and enthusiasm as a whole. Now this can represent a person for sure, but I, I normally see this as a message. However, I have seen it um, represent grown men or grown women with page of wands energy that are just a little acting like children or just emotionally mature within that moment and playful so if you're waiting for a message i see it coming in um friday and thursday i'm really seeing some opportunities coming on on friday too someone offering something to you a message that comes in it builds excitement or you putting yourself out there speaking your passion using your voice um not being fearful not being not holding yourself back, but really putting yourself out there when, when it comes to expressing yourself and sharing your ideas and what it is that you can do and then the payoff coming on Friday. So I see Thursday and Friday being days of messages and developments coming in. Um, even though Wednesday was a little tough, Tuesday and Wednesday seem to be a little tough and um, aggressive on our energy. There's a little bit of tension, tension that kind of sits there. So that's something to look forward to. Um, this, I want to keep our our perspective open with this because this can represent any area of our life. This can show itself in any area of our life, whether it be relationships, career, money, um, job security, ideas, opportunities. Keep your eyes open. So if it comes in the form of a relationship, this is someone who wants to be committed or wants to plant the seeds for something of long term because Pentacles is all about the long term vision, the greater the greater plan, what's going to benefit us in the long haul and really sticking with it. But again, remember, it's so brand new. It's very brand new. So there's still a lot of work and energy that needs to be put into it. But it's something that it's exciting because um, we see the potential and we see the growth that can be available with that. So Saturday is really interesting. Saturday and Sunday are two very interesting um, as two, two very interesting forms of energy. Saturday is the strength card and the four of pentacles reversed, both of them reversed. And Sunday is about the two of wands and the high priestess reversed. So four of pentacles reversed is not necessarily a bad thing, but the two of them together, the strength card reversed and the four of pentacles, I look at this and I say, you know what, you cannot force anything to be anything that it's not. You can't force something to be something it doesn't wanna be. It's going to be what it is. You can't push it. It's not for you to push it. Let go, let God, you are gonna exhaust yourself. You are burning rubber for no reason. You are wasting gas. You're wasting precious fuel and energy. And why is that? Because the energy of whatever it is that is kind of working pushing against you or that you're trying to move, it is not going to budge. Four of Pentacles wants to really kind of hunker down and is not moving. It's not going to entertain any type of other thing because how it is right now is what's working for it and it is what it is. Um, the Strength card also says, you know what, to push this any further is going to do more harm than good. And I really want you to listen to your intuition because I think a part of you, you guys, you guys know this, the high priestess was reversed and she's saying you've been neglecting your intuition. You've been neglecting the signs. You've been trying to force something to happen that maybe the timing is not right or maybe you haven't grown enough or maybe there's more things that need to be revealed and these types of messages are coming to you from left and right but you're still trying to push it forward. So Saturday and Sunday, I really want you to take a step back and to watch what kind of is presenting itself before you kind of jump in. Because remember, the Page of Wands is so impulsive and so excited, but it's so it's so juvenile and there's so much that still needs to learn and to grow and to experience. And the Ace of Pentacles definitely wants to invest itself, but maybe the maturity of you or the situation or the other person is just not ripe yet and it still needs some time to develop. So this is where you look at the resources. You look at what's ahead of you, what is in, in front of you. And that's what the Two of Wands is all about. It says, look at what you have, look at what's here, and then 
make a decision based upon that logical fact. Now remember, logic and real being realistic, the King of Pentacles says, what do we have? What is tangible? What can we do with this? Being realistic. You can have all the hopes, the dreams, the vision in all of the world, but it kind of doesn't really go anywhere if you don't have a, a real steady, firm foundation to build upon. And the King of Swords here is all about thinking logically and thinking about facts and putting the pieces together in order to come up with the best logical decision. And the King of Swords is reversed, showing that you know what, our mental clarity or what is the energy that it is that we're dealing with here may not be A plus right now. So we'll see how this unfolds and how this manifests and how this grows. This is just for this week. Um, and we'll, you know, be interesting to see how this develops into the energy of next week in next week's uh, weekly tarot scope, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Be honest with me. Let me know if you love this video. Let me know if this helps you. If you want to see more of these, I will do what is going to be the most best and beneficial for you. Um, and what you can take from this because that's why I even have this here is to give back and to help you guys to come to um, to make the best decisions for yourself to help you to self uh, transform to educate and to provide positivity and love and light okay so all the cards that I used will be linked below in this case it's just the tarot but you can find all of those links below and also if you need to work with me one-on-one -on, -one on a reading you can find my website and any way that you can contact me whether it be social media email um, or my website all of those things will be linked below so thanks again you guys thank you so much if you love this video definitely hit like comment and then absolutely 110 percent subscribe because there's gonna be plenty more where that came from um, and tarot classes are another thing that are forming right now that i'm really excited to get on our channel okay so we'll talk to you soon thank you again bye